Hey everybody, you are tuned in to the Free Map Podcast. I think I had promised you guys we were going to look at some news, uh, just kind of like a news roundtable. It's like the the world's news in a short amount of time. A little headline look. Uh, I forgot who it was that I looked on my notes here. Looked at, uh, I think they said the Delta variant. I don't like fear mongering at all. And it's mentioned about around the world, uh, like in India and other places, uh, the Delta variant is a concern. Um, to be honest with you, I, I just want to ask you how bad of a problem is it? Is it a problem because government said it is? Is it a problem because it is the cause du jour? Is there, uh, as much as I don't like the conspiracy element, uh, is somebody enjoying either uh, an up- upswing in pharmaceutical companies making a dime off of it, tax may- payers' money? Is it, uh, curtailing civil liberties under the guise of public health. I mean, that's up to you. And I believe, uh, I forgot what source that was overseas. A lot of different uh, news outlets overseas got that. Um, oh, this was, I think, as per Al Jazeera, mentioned in the Central African Republic, uh, even though it sounds you know, like it's not, huge amount of blood there's not enough bleeding to let it lead but it mentioned the central african republic um i think it was the doctors without borders and in french it's a medicine san fran frontier or whatever like doctors without borders um their convoy was attacked and a woman was killed and people asked me well hey that doesn't sound like news and i said it is news um uh, i have been told reliably from unreliable sources, that Central African Republic, and according to the State Department, it's continuously an issue, uh, that kind of stuff. And you, uh, I'm going to say it was just almost like a meltdown of sorts. Now, I I wish people knew knew that that kind of stuff was happening. I know we 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 had to go on with our lives and not get too wound up in those kind of affairs, but it's still happening and can help. It can help shape a region and a lot of, uh, yeah, they need to fix their own problems, but it's still happening, especially when the Red Cross or uh, Doctors Without Borders can't operate. Um, y'all might know this one in a Spanish jail, John McAfee uh, was found dead. Notice that I said it that way. This was a 75 year old man. Um, at first, nobody reported how he had died. Um, I jokingly said that he got Epstein, and he claimed he was going to get Epstein. Um, is there any credibility to any of that? I don't know. Um, he did have enemies, but at the same time, uh, he was a bit of a nut, and I liked the guy personally. I think he's awesome. I think he was awesome. Um, I will say this much, that he, um, Epstein didn't kill himself. John McAfee didn't kill himself. Neither did Brooks Hadland from Shawshank Redemption. Brooks was here. So was Matt. Ooh. Oh, this was, uh, do, 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 do. I forgot who my source was for this one, too. It's in my notes here. The Pakistan Taliban is revving back up. And I think that was in the Baluchistan province. And you asked me why that is prevalent. Uh, you know the pack well the Pakistan intelligence service, but way back when had a big hand in uh, Taliban type stuff. The when it was growing, and I'm not saying they were responsible. I'm just saying they had links. There's there's linkages. It's across across the border from Afghanistan, and it's natural. I'm whatever. I'm we're staying neutral here. Um, I will say this much. Because it, there's a lot of cultural stuff at, at at hand that if you don't understand how the cultural elements work, you want to understand that how they, they move back and forth over the border. They have the, the clans and the families and the ethnic groups that all interact and things like that. And this isn't a critique on any of this. 
I, I had previously said, I think the Taliban, uh, they said 30%. I actually say it was more than that. But the Taliban is the probably the people who want it the most in Afghanistan. And the Pakistani Taliban apparently are operating with some type of uh, efficiency in that in certain regions they're going to town. And I think people ought to know about it. Uh, from a regional standpoint, it can cause some issues. Just, that's what's happening. Oh, goodness. Nicaragua. I'm, there's a reason why I picked this up and not one of the South, uh, South American countries' uh, elements. In Nicaragua, um, I think the, the, there's journalists leaving in, in droves, and there's uh, apparent, apparent political crackdown, uh, dissidents and what have you, and this is right before an election. Um, I'm not speaking out of some authority. This was just a news blurb. Um, somebody on the news had mentioned it the other day. Uh, people in America don't care. That's the irony. We've been involved down there before. Like the Alli I think it was the Alliance for Progress under Kennedy. Just bear with me. I don't remember who, who was in charge of what. But it's a developing... It's always a developing thing. And when... When, when the United States gets involved and these people aren't allowed or pushed to, to deal with their own problems, I think it makes it worse later on. And it's, it's almost like a seesaw effect. Uh, up and down, up and down there. It's a seesaw. Uh, that's something I wish people would monitor, people would check out on the news. It, I'm not saying for, for good or for ill. It's just I wish people knew this kind of stuff was happening. Oh, uh... According to Grandma, uh, that is Grandma, which is the uh, Cuban News Service. Yes, I understand. For the most part, people in the United States think it is a it's a uh, it's a mouthpiece for the Communist Party in, in Cuba. Uh, for uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Oh, it's it's for their uh, it's, it's yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's how they send out their news, and it has a blatant slant. Now, I wanted you guys to, uh, it was a Cuba, it was regarding uh, cocaine uh, found in shipments. And there was some bickering because it was a uh, shipment of uh, some type of products in overseas. And they found cocaine in it. And the Cubans and some of the news outlets have been said to have some linkage with it. And obviously the Cubans had said that they had reason to believe that the shipments might have originated in Panama, where it's Pan Panama is a ma major shipping area. Um, and you would ask me why. I said it's, it's international relations. And I'm not saying people, uh, they're, they're going to take a hit. And obviously, uh, Grandma has a, a slant of propaganda to it. Because um, it's the uh, Cuban, that's the uh, Cuban government's uh, mouthpiece. Um, I did not, the reason why I quoted the grandma here is um, it's regarding international relations and trade. And I did not see this covered, I did not, was not able to dig deep enough to find it in many other news outlets. And as much as it probably is, it's just not, somebody's always got something bigger, and if it bleeds, it leads. This isn't bleeding enough. It doesn't lead. So, wanted you uh, guys to know about that. That's ninety miles, sixty miles, or something like that off the coast of Florida is a, uh, a chain of islands. Y'all might call Cuba. Cuba is its own country, and yes, we've had a past with it. But some of you people are not smart enough to know that Cuba is a country, and it's down there. They are. There's people there. All right, folks. Um, as much as I wanted to uh, be ultra humorous about the world's news. I did leave out South America because it wasn't in my notes. Um, I, uh, yeah, just, if you wanted to read more about it, pick around, run the Google machine, or find some of the sources I mentioned. I am not the be end all and be all. I have an opinion. I, I read, I try to di dissect and digest. It's up to you to make your own decisions and not be sheep. 
Um, as always, folks, do do do. I think there was uh, notifications and likes, subscribes. Um, my eyes are driving me nuts. I think my allergies are going nuts. Um, I think the website's down below. On occasion, I talk about world events and history, but you know, it's history stuff. Oh, uh, do 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 do. Let me see. Oh, we have um. Uh, hate email in case you wanted to send me a hateful email uh, also way way down below leave a comment if you feel inclined to obviously uh twitter and gab i'm still working on parlay just ignore it i do but i do want to leave you one thing please be well please think and digest make up your own decisions don't be sheep you might have to write things down and read multiple sources. Sometimes it's in the middle of, of two sources, like a, a really crappy Venn diagram. All right, folks, uh, please take care of yourselves, and you make the decision what is news.